So uh, if you're watching us, thank you for looking at us. Uh, it's Davey and Jade. You know them from many places. Um, AFI and, of course, Black Audio. I must say this. You guys have never looked better Whoa. in your life. Thank you. I like that. There are Thanks. some bands. It's lighting. No, it's not. Because I saw you in the parking lot. And by the way, we drove up in the parking lot at the same time. We did. Yeah. That was nice timing. We did. Perfect. Yeah. I, when I saw your lights of your car go in reverse, I'm like, he's going to drive right into me right now. I, I slammed on my brakes. I'm like, whoa, some dude just flew in behind me. Yeah. <laughs> nice driver. You. Owning the parking lot. Yeah. Not as, really. As well as you should. I do not. You saw where I had to park in this lot. Actually, I didn't notice. I got the good. I just like made up a parking spot. It was like some shades. So I just parked under the shade, whether it's a spot or not. No, it's not. You, you did park in the red because you now you own the lot. Oh, oh yeah. We I'm took your spot. Trouble. That's why you didn't no, park no, there. No, no, no. <laughs> So let's, um, let's just talk all over the place. Okay. There are people out there who 100% know every word to an AFI song, yes. and those certain people they do know, hey, they have a project called Black Audio. Mm -hmm. But for some of those people that don't know Black Audio, mm -hmm. what is Black Audio? Black Audio is Jade and I. It's purely electronic duo, obviously, as it's the two of us, that we formed around 2000, 2001. Yeah, it's been around a long time, yeah. even though we're only putting on our second record. Yeah, it seems to be the way things go for us. So <laughs> we, we began then um, out of love for electronica, which Jade and I both have a long-standing love for all sorts of different types of electronic bass music, from synth pop to big room to industrial. Um, and Jade programs everything. I sing everything. And uh, that's what we do. We've toured a few times. We have a record called Sex Cells that came yep. out in 2007. Really good. Thank you. Really, really good. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You were always a supporter of it, which was nice. And um, we have a new record coming out called Bright Black Heaven that will be out September 11th. And uh, I think we've probably played a total of 25 shows, maybe. We've done one tour in the yeah. like 11 years we've been together. Well, two uh, counting Australia. Okay, that's true. But yeah. but we've only done one tour in the States. Um, Before we talk about tour, I want to rewind about your role because mm -hmm. you said Jade Programs. I forgot the exact word that you said. Mm -hmm. so what does that mean exactly? I guess I'm kind of like the whole band. I just. Typically, I'll write an entire song so it's completely finished except for the vocals and send it to him, and uh, he writes over it. So, you know, I just, whether I'm like on my laptop in an airport or whether I'm at home on my desktop, it's just like, it's kind of nice being the whole band, you know? Any music you hear, it's music created beats. by Jay. Wow. Any melody or words you hear, it's created by me. And then that inspires you to come up with the lyrics, and the or you and the man upstairs. Mm -hmm. So the lyrics that you have for Black Audio, how would they be different than putting them on an AFI record? Would you ever do that? Um, no, I wouldn't intentionally okay. do that. I I wouldn't be inclined to do that. The 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 music that we create with Black Audio inspires me in a completely different way than rock music does, and um, I think that. I find, at the very least, that electronica is more escapist. I feel it takes you to um, a more euphoric place, typically, than um, what we've created otherwise. And thereby, the lyrics complement that general feeling in what we do with Black Audio. And uh, with rock, it's a, it's a completely, completely different vibe. How come in your growing up and loving this style of music, your first band was not Black Audio, and then on the side we'll do AFI. Was that ever a possibility? I mean, because you guys have known each other for what since high school? Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, as far as programming goes, the way how far things have come in just the last couple years, much less the last fifteen or twenty years, is you know when we started listening to electronic music back when we we're in the eighties, when we were listening to Ministry and oh, Depeche yeah. Mode mm -hmm. and. Nights or Ebb and stuff, there was, you couldn't sit down at a computer because they didn't really exist. <laughs> yeah. At least sit down with music software. So that whole thing was keyboards, and we certainly couldn't afford keyboards. I mean, I couldn't afford a keyboard. So when, you know, around 1999, when I started programming, it was like that's when I got my first computer. So I immediately started doing it. So when you talk about ministry, Depeche Mode, I mean, maybe even a little erasure possibly thrown absolutely, in there, absolutely, right? <laughs> absolutely. Who are some, let's just talk music for a minute, and that's that kind of music. Who are some of the, um, if you could name some other bands mm -hmm. that, that you love, but maybe some of the most underrated bands that didn't get the, get the credit they deserved in the 80s and maybe early 90s. Um, let's see, some of the more, I mean, I, my love goes back to everything from 
you know, suicide and Cabaret Voltaire and, you know, the normal through to Heaven 17, which, oh, you yeah. know, and and Human League, both eras of it. and, yeah, and, like and Six Six Sputnik. Yeah. Frontline Assembly. Mm-hmm. There was a band called Babyland, which was kind of like an industrial band from... Okay. from L.A. From, yeah. Uh, and, weren't they from, like, Pomona, I think. And they were right guys. they were fantastic, and yeah. they never got. They played Gilman Street like constantly with all mm-hmm. you know, with punk bands, but they never really got. You know, they never broke, I guess. But yeah, they were kind of an influence on me. They were, they were great, and um, you know, all the all the way through, you know, through the '90s as as well. With I mean, these the '90s was the first explosion of the of the dance mm-hmm. dance movement in America. So you you had the Crystal Method and the Chemical Brothers and and Olive and Prodigy, of course, and. Um, it is impossible to go see Prodigy and not have a great time. Right, is absolutely impossible. They are On so their fun. worst night is my best night out there. I, yeah, <laughs> it's so impressive that yeah. even now in 2012 yeah. they're just insane live. Yeah, it's just keeping that quality. I mean, yeah. who does that? Who's able to do yeah. that? And t- I, don't, I haven't seen Atari Teenage Riot recently. I but, saw them. But I saw them at Coachella this year. Wow. They were at Coachella this year. Yes, uh, wow. I was there, but I didn't actually make it down to the show. Okay, you just getting sun or. The, the I, pool? I was getting shade. Getting shade? <laughs> <laughs> I was getting shade. Atari Teenage Riot at Coachella this year was fantastic. But there was one thing that I found kind of interesting. I mean, you know me a little bit. I'm not the most rough and tumble guy. No. I was in the front row against the barrier, and it wasn't super crowded, but they were so good. They were like a 10 out of 10 in terms of energy and greatness. And I'm like, do these people that are walking around this tent know what's going on in here? And I guess not if they were just kind of walking not. around the tent. Little, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was, um, I mean, they, they, were, they were tough. Really good. Yeah. I'm curious, did it ever, were you ever hesitant to do this kind of music because I may upset AFI fans? You wouldn't oh, no. say it like that, of well, course. Well, no, I mean, we, <laughs> we've never done anything to appeal or not appeal to anyone. Okay. We've always done what we've loved musically and creatively. And, but the um, AFI fans, certainly when we started Black Audio, they were always a very, and still are a very open bunch. So it good. wasn't like, man, people are going to be so bummed on this because it's not AFI. It's like, man, people are going to be psyched on this different thing. and. They're going to be maybe hearing some things they hadn't heard before, so it was never like a fear of alienating anyone. That's very refreshing to hear, and I'm I'm glad that that is the case. That's true. Yeah, um, that's so nice. here you go, second Black Audio album, mm-hmm. the first Sex Sales, as you mentioned, mm-hmm. it's been what five years or so. There hasn't been a lot of touring. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most on tour with with your partner here? The the Black the Sex Sales tour. Yeah. Was by far the best time I've had on tour. It was just so fun. It's just so relaxed. Um, it's just a, a pleasure to perform the Black Audio songs live. It's just fun. It's not stressful mm-hmm. <laughs> at all. And um, I'm really looking forward to, to doing that again, uh, to, to have the new material and the fresh material and coupled with you know, the, the sex album material and to be out there. And hopefully you know, this time we can maybe make it to, to England. It, mm. would be, it would be nice to make it out there to the UK. You're playing some really good venues. So do you just like mm-hmm. the, the rock scene, you're gonna be in Vegas, at the hard mm-hmm. rock place out there. Yeah. Do you just want the places to be dark, dingy, and sweaty once people are inside and energetic, bouncing off the walls? How do you see when you- I would like put... it to be uh, lit, okay. slick, <laughs> and and high energy. <laughs> dark, dark, dingy, I'm not really a fan okay. of in, in general. But, I, I'm not um, even sure I know what dark and dingy means. Well, I just, we I just we do. Dark and dingy. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> many years of yeah. that, so yeah. we know all about it. Right. Yeah, I'm not a real big fan of that, but, um, but that energy part, you know, packed it would be nice, mm-hmm. as you said. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, the uh, the Long Beach and the and the Hollywood show are already sold out. We heard, which is nice. Excellent. Which is nice. Excellent. Which is really makes us feel good to know that the people down here in SoCal still still remember. Oh, they do. After five years, they do. <laughs> they do. Jade, I was I was on SoundCloud and I see mm-hmm. you. It seems like you're working nonstop remixing original stuff. What what do you do on a daily basis musically, whether it's involved with Davey or not? I just write music every day, and I have for the last probably 12 years. It's just like, it's not, I just have to do it. I feel like if I haven't written music, it's weird. I feel like I'm like, I'm, I'm f***ing up. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? I need to go write something. And it's cool because, you know, I never get tired of it. So I'm always programming. I'll pick up my guitar, play the piano, just writing something, whether it be rock music, electronic music, just something. 
And how important is it to you for the masses to hear it? Or is it more of just self-fulfilling, I got to do the music? All right, I just did two songs today. Yeah, you know, I have hundreds of songs that I'll, no one will probably ever hear that I really love. I just don't care. Like, you know, I put some stuff up on my SoundCloud, stuff that doesn't fit with Black Audio or, or AFI. And so sometimes if I'm just like, you know, I like people to hear this, but I just like to make it. Are there any artists out there, whether they're super famous in the top 40 world or maybe no one's ever heard of them but you, that you would like for them to have the music? My music? Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean. Let's get this going, like who? Oh man, you put me on the spot. <laughs> For instance, and now I'm not saying I want this, but maybe you do like, would you want Lady Gaga involved in any of your music? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you a fan of her music, of her, of her meat dresses? Uh, <laughs> not the meat dress per se, but I'm a fan of her music. You know, she makes great pop dance music. I mean, and Black Audio makes pop dance music. Right. And so, and she's, you know, a great writer and performer. So yeah, I've got no problem with Lady Gaga. What do you think of the music world the last five years, especially the popular music world, with I, all these females great. that have exploded, the guys exploded, the pop music? Uh, the, the pop music I, has been better than ever now. It's so exciting, the uh, shift from what has been played on you know, pop radio stations for the past 10 years into dance music. And, um, you know, with, I love, I love, I love Nicki, I love Nicki Minaj, the, the Pitbull track, the new Pitbull track right now, we we on the night, we run the night, yeah, with um, Havana Brown on it. It's fabulous. It is so fun, and and that that high energy, fun element of dance music has just been infused with pop music, and it's you know, I think been going strong for the past two or three years now, mm -hmm. and it's it's exciting for me because I've never really been able to listen to a lot of radio without being completely upset, and. Um, You'd have to find you'd have to find little niche dance stations, and now you don't. Now it's just ubiquitous. Now it's just at baseball games and football games, and on every commercial. And you know, dance festivals are the biggest festivals. And um, I think it was two years ago that the USA got voted by DJ Magazine the number one dance country in America. I mean, the number one no. dance country in the world. Right. It's not hard to be number one dance country in America if it's America, but uh, which no I think was... No one ever thought that no, in the 90s. No, I think or... it was unprecedented yeah. at that point. Um, have you been to the EDC in Vegas or I haven't been like in Vegas, that? no. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, I, I, hear it's, I hear it's fabulous, you know. And that's been going strong for, I mean, like, he's been doing it like for 12, years, 12 years now. And, and it's not just in Vegas. Pasquale does it all over. Well, it had been other places right, right now. Yeah. And, and, now it's, and now it goes further, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, do you know, have you met Mick, uh, uh, Nicki Minaj? Haven't met Nicki. You haven't? No. Okay. I'm excited to be going to see her soon, though. Um, my brother and I are going to go see her play. I saw her walk by. My friend was touring with Lil Wayne, and, uh, and Nicki was performing, but I had missed her, and I saw her walk by, and I was pretty excited. See, what I hope for in the depth of my little soul is that artists like her, like when I watch the MTV Awards and I see bands that we play on K-Rock or artists that I think are so good. I want all the pop artists and artists that you want to think to know bands like AFI and Muse and The Strokes and you know whoever, whoever. So it's cool to hear you talk about them. I would like to give her an AFI record. I want to give her Black Audio. I want Nicki Minaj to hear you guys. I want her to take you on the road or you take her somewhere. I, I, I mean, we would love to. Love to tour with Nikki, that's for sure. I think she might like Black Audio. I don't Audio. think we would I probably mean, take her anywhere. We could give her a ride somewhere, but <laughs> as far as taking her out on tour, <laughs> didn't she? Didn't you say her take us somewhere, <laughs> or you take her? I mean, yeah, we could take her to. If get, she needs a ride, you know, to take her to get a drugstore, a smoothie or a juice yeah. or something like that. You know, what about the Skrillexes and the Dead Mouses and the? And I know that's not how you say it, so don't start riding me. And Dead Mouse. Yes. Dead, no, I said Dead Mouses and Skrillexes. <laughs> dead Mice. Dead, dead Mice. Yes. Dead mice. Um, their explosion. Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, the the DJs, the huge. I mean, Swedish those. I, I don't. I don't really associate them other than them. They're huge. Of course, they are associated by way of a label. But yeah, Swedish House Mafia, Cascade, and, mm -hmm. right? Um, Afrojack, and all the you know sort of newer DJs. Not that Cascade is new, nor Dead Mouse, but um, it's it's fantastic to see their rise. I mean, they're making a lot of great music, and um, I've seen them a bunch, and uh, some some of them, and uh, you know who. Who else is really great? I mean, some of the, it's it's great to see a lot of the classic DJs still getting the recognition in this in this wave of it. Like, you know, obviously Tiesto and right. um, Armin Van Buren and 
and Oakenfold. I just saw that you know he's still doing the the stands in Vegas. I just saw the billboard the other day, so right. it was nice to see that that happening because uh, you know they were the they were the front runners. Definitely, yeah. All right, so um, bright black heavens coming out September 11th. I have this is not the artwork, of course. It's just printed song titles on here. But the, this is Cold War, Fade to White, Faith Healer, Deconstructing Gods, Everybody's Friends, Let's Be Honest, With Your Arms Around You, Bliss, Bon Voyeurs, oui. um, The Witness, Say Red, Ill Lit Shifts. It, just based on the titles, is there a theme? Is there a theme to the songs, or are these just, is it a hodgepodge of your of random thoughts? Generally, lyrically, it's, it's similar to Sex Cells in that it's very... Um, sexually charged it, right, it, deals, okay. it deals with um, sexual scenarios of different sorts of, 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 of varying cases <laughs> and people and environments um, it's uh, rather hedonistic in, in scope for the most part hmm. and who, who tells you when you're making this music you said you send Davey the music uh -huh. um, and you just gave him 12 songs or there's a giant amount of songs oh, we, and the ones we had a lot we have a ton because I write so much, especially electronic stuff. So I just send him whatever kind of like I'm feeling. Yeah. Like oh, like this one is finished, I'll send it to him. But I have so much stuff that he's never heard and that he has heard that mm -hmm. could, you know, make ten more records. When we get together and, and make the record, Jade has never heard the vocal that mm -hmm. I've written. So he's only heard the music. So when I'm tracking it for the first time, it's the first time that he's heard the melody and the words and, and whatnot. And we've I don't know how many songs we recorded for Bright Black Heaven, 30? Something like that. Something like 20 or 30. Okay. So there's a lot of songs that, that aren't on the record, some of which I, I feel will be released, hopefully. Yeah. We like a lot of them, and um, probably some of them that will be worked on and end up on the next record. I know Bliss, which is tr track eight on my copy here, people can actually listen to Bliss right now, right, if they go to blackaudio.com? Yes, mm -hmm. if you go to blackaudio.com, and um, there's a Black Audio Twitter, if you want to be updated there, it's uh, real black audio. And with a Q, of course. QK, B L A Q K, okay. and um, there's a Tumblr, right? Is that the right yes, word? So. Yeah. Yeah, Tumblr, T U M B L R. That's it. Davies on Twitter as well. Tumblr can yes. spell about as good as we can. Yeah. B L A Q K, -K T U M B L R. Yes. Perfect match. Mm. Meant to be. So I can't let you leave here without just hitting on AFI just a little bit because um, you know you have Adam in the band and Hunter and I know Hunter's been very busy. Um, are you guys still? Do you communicate often? Do you see new new AFI in a year, two years, ten years, one year? Adam sent me a nice email today that uh, linked me to a video of a cat falling off a couch <laughs> that was set to music. Um, so yes, we do. We do speak. I ran into Hunter the other day at a at a vegan restaurant, which is where we run into each other, and um, it was good to see him. And uh, yeah, you know, we do. Since we're about to put this record out, we kind of have to focus on one thing at a time. Right. So, you know, once we do black audio, then we can focus on the AFI again, and you know, we're kind of going back and forth. Uh, so, 9-11, the uh, album is coming out. The tour is starting on uh, September 6th, mm -hmm. and go online, find out where they're gonna be. The energy is gonna be crazy. I cannot wait to see you guys play in LA. And Thank there you. is a 77% chance I'm gonna go see the Vegas show because to okay, see great. you guys play in Vegas with that energy outside of the room and then go inside and it's probably gonna be double that in a well-lit energetic room <laughs> Yes, thank with you. beads Plain. of sweat going Plain. down my head. Oh my God, it's Sounds gonna be good. so fun. Please, please come. I 100% please will. Come. One, of the, one of the best shows on Sex Cells was, was in Vegas. We played uh, yeah. Body English, which doesn't exist in the Hard Rock anymore. No, it does not. Now they have Vanity, um, but it'll be nice to play in the same hotel. Excellent. Hard Rock. It's great. All right. Uh, thanks for sitting down with me here. Thanks for having us, Stryker. Of course. Davey and Jade, I'm Stryker. Black Audio. It's coming out September 11th, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.